Welcome to our Facebook Live Look In. You are looking at the fourth feature of the O'Reilly Auto Parts National Indoor Kart Championship broadcasting live from the Batesville Civic Center in Batesville, Mississippi. I'm Tom Baker, the voice of the event. It is good to be with you on Hit Row TV and Speed Sport TV. This is a special Facebook Live look in, you are seeing this for free for the next couple of races. If you like what you see, make sure you flip it over to pitrow.tv and subscribe to the rest of our event. This is race four of 22, world's largest indoor kart race. We had 1,272 entries this weekend. 6.30 something yesterday and another 6.30 something today almost evenly split. This is Junior 3 Clone Heavy, our oldest group of junior drivers. They are 13 to 15 years old. Starting first, the 12 of Braden Parsley, your Fast Time Award winner earlier today. Starting second, Cameron Lambert in the 141. Starting third, the low dog, Logan Walston in the 56. Starting fourth, the two of Cole Hewart. Starting fifth, 75 of Ricky Bernard, starting sixth, 23 of Aaron Shoemaker, starting seventh, the 07 of Jack Walker, starting eighth, the double zero of Bryce Overton, starting ninth, the 76, Mark Allen Bivens, starting 10th, the 19 second generation driver, Gage Weldon, starting 11th, the 341 of Cooper Quick, starting 12th, the 87 of Carson Lake, starting 13th, the 54 of Seth Beaver, Starting 14th, the K2 of Kane Butler. Starting 15th, the 05 of Cruz Madison. Starting 16th, the 40D of Blake Adams. Starting 17th is the 41 of Alex Schultz. Starting 18th. The 11 of K.M. McCubbin, 19th the 27 of Timmy Price, and 20th the 505 of Lathan Good. is out we are racing seventy five making a move early that's Ricky Bernard side by side with Cole Heward and now Bernard gonna go back 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 three carts come by him that's what happens when you get rooted out of the bottom here Parsley, Lambert, Walston, Heward, Shoemaker, then Bivens, Bernard, Quip, Parson, and Beaver through the top 10. Walston trying to dispatch. Back in second right now is Lambert, Walston in third. Walston trying to get by him and get gone so he can try to close in on your leader. Raven Parsley's opened up a second advantage and we got a couple of carts up against the outside wall here. And that'll bring out a yellow. Forty-one involved. That is Alex Schultz. And there's another card over there too. It might be Alexis Smiley. I can't quite tell.
Yeah, let's see what happened on the replay here. And yeah, the uh, we had one that just uh, spun up there, and then it was almost a secondary situation where the 41 just kind of came in, got up out of the groove. So yeah, that is uh, Schultz and Timmy Price in the 27 is who that first cart was, I believe. Looking at your leader, Braden Parsley. Cameron Lambert there in second in that yellow cart actually won three pole awards today. Fast time in three different classes. This one was not one of them. Parsley won the Fast Time Award for this one. He has led all six laps so far. Logan Walston in the 56 has been fast, but has not been able to crack victory lane. Let's see if he can here. Green flag is out. just as quickly caution flag comes out 23 that is uh, shoemaker i believe aaron shoemaker he'll pick it up at the tail doesn't appear to be too much going on with it You're joining us for the first time here this evening and you're not real familiar with this type of kart racing of course uh, dirt tracks outdoors all over the country when they have a show indoors like this one you have to bring in the dirt it takes about 10 days to build this track bring in the dirt then form the track you can see the interlocking barriers that uh, go around the outside of the track those red and white barriers they come with all the rest of the operational equipment that the jam promotions crew brings down from memphis in a 53 foot trailer they call it the track in the box but you gotta form the dirt up first and it takes Shane James about uh, 10 days with his team to make the track the way that he wants it. It's a little different every year. Back to green for a moment and then back to caution. And then when they're done, all this dirt will go right back out. And it'll take the arena about a week to kind of get everything back to normal here. This is the largest event the arena holds every year. That is the number 19 of Gage Weldon that got spun backwards there. and Shane James from Jam Promotions, both former racers themselves, so they know what they're doing when it comes to putting these shows on. Nobody gives more back to the racers than these folks do at this show. Over $5,000 in prizes each day at the driver's meeting alone, plus you get a gift bag with more prizes when you register. But Aaron Shane and the team want everybody to go home with something. If possible. That's why you get turnouts like they do. Seven laps to go. Green flag is out. Parsley leads. Lambert second, Walston third, Hewitt fourth, Bivens fifth.
hammer right up on the back. Of your leader. Question is, can he make a move? Five laps to go. Not a lot of time. The laps go by real quick here. That number 12 has been flawless this entire race. He has led them all, but Lambert's trying. There he goes to the inside. Oh, ho, ho, ho. boy, oh, boy, that could have been ugly. That wasn't a door shut. That was a door slam by your leader. And there is the 87. I think that's Lake Carson. Got crossed up there. Three laps to go. Caution laps do not count, but the time limit keeps rolling. Parsley, Lambert, Walston, Heward, and Bivens. Your top five. Three laps to go, who's got it? Green fly, can Lambert find his way around or will the number 12 of Parsley? Hang on, Lambert closing up, two to go. Cameron Lambert peeking to the inside, can't make the move. White flag. Oh, he tried, and that might have been all it. Yeah, he knows, too. The win is going to go to the number 12. Uh, Bray Barsley, Lambert, second. Walston, third. You saw Lambert pounding the steering wheel. He knows that he messed up just a little bit with his line, and that cost him an opportunity. Fourth, Heward, fifth, Bivens, Bernard will finish in sixth. Cooper Quick will finish seventh. Great run for Braden Parsley. Flag to flag win. Race number five coming up. This is champ heavy. So, Colin Stevenson in the 24 will start first. Austin Sampson in the 59 will start second. Cody Hayes in the 7X will start third. 
Justin Jones in the 15 junior will start fourth. Charles Caldwell in the 18 will start fifth. Just five champ cards, 20 laps. Samson in the 59 actually starts first. Then Stevenson, Jones, Hayes, Caldwell, Kent Bennett not reporting for duty with the number five. Only five cars out there. Simpson in the 59 jumps out front. Colin Stevens to the inside now and Colin. Oh man, Samson hard on the bumper of, of the 24. What he doesn't know is all that's gonna do is make Colin drive faster. <laughs> Colin was racing here with this class at 20 plus carts in it. And you had to work your tail off to win a race. It was really fun to watch these champs. Unfortunately, the class is just sort of dying out. Stevenson, Sampson, Hayes, Jones, and Caldwell. and names. Josh Ray won a bunch of races in these champ carts. Can't even tell you. I don't even remember them all, but there was uh, there was some great competition. Of course, Stevenson was right in the thick of it. And now a lead change. Samson goes right back by the 24. Fifty nine, Samson starting to pull away now, opening up some ground. Stevenson second, Hayes third, Jones fourth, Caldwell fifth. It was almost like the fifty nine let Stevenson go by just to give him hope. <laughs> so that's enough hope. <laughs> Eight laps to go. This field, both these, uh, Colin Stevenson was still a junior when the champ carts were really at their best. But we had junior and senior champs, both very large classes. It was strong in the Memphis area, and they all came to to the gutter. Batesville once we moved it here. And like I said, it just started to kind of die out. Change now, Caldwell. Jones in third, Hayes fourth, Caldwell back there fifth.
White flag. Austin Sampson, I don't believe he's won a race here before. So I think this would be a first. How about that? The 59 of Austin Sampson takes the win. Stevenson will be second, Jones third. Hayes fourth, and Caldwell will finish up in the fifth spot. Race number six coming up next. It will be Junior One Clone Heavy. And that is the end of our Facebook Live look in. If you like what you see, flip over to pitrow.tv and subscribe to get the rest of the features tonight. Again, we have just completed five out of 22, so 17 features, plus you get all of Pit Row's other great programming. So jump over to pitrow.tv and we'll see you there.